What's up YouTube? Game Over 86 coming back with another video and in this video guys I'm going to be giving you guys my thoughts, my opinions and where I see Black Ops 4 falling, you know, in the video game competition world when it comes to first person shooters, where they've changed at, why they've changed. So if you guys are new to this channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Make sure you guys leave me a comment and make sure you guys share this video. Make sure you smash the thumbs up as well. Follow me on Twitter as well. That's where I keep most of my stuff up to date in between videos throughout the weeks. So you guys can stay up to date with me and keep pace where I'm going to pop in and pop out at. You know how I do it. Always, baby. Always. And all my returning subscribers, thank you guys very much. I appreciate all the support, all the kind words, all the, all the stuff that you guys have given me. Uh... You know, when it comes to kind words, comments, uh, support, I appreciate every single one of you guys. And today, like I said, I'm giving you guys my thoughts and my opinions on the Black Ops 4 release trailer. And it's probably not going to be that good, but it may. So you guys stay tuned. Ready? Let's go! Okay, guys, so I'm going to be talking about Black Ops 4, give you guys my thoughts and opinions, like I said earlier. I am rocking the Marty McFly uh, Back to the Future 2 hat instead of my bandana, which I think this is my first uh, video where I don't have the bandana. So I just want to try something. New. It's hotter, too, in my house, um, so the breeze feels better. But anyway, I'm getting on with this video, and I watched the trailer. And a lot of people ask me, what did I think of the trailer? And I watched the trailer, and I thought to myself, it's the same as every other Black Ops. The only difference is they take out campaigns, so they're gouging some of the fans. Um, some of the ones that actually, you know, don't maybe have PlayStation Plus or Xbox Live. Because there's people out there that don't. So now they're going to have to pay just to play online anyway. If they really want the game. So there's a majority of some people that may not get the game. Um, you know, because the campaign you don't need online to play it. Um, so that's one of the cons coming from it. Um, really, there's no pros, in my opinion. I mean, they're copycatting Fortnite and PUBG. That's real tough. Cut, copy, paste. We made a new game. Next year, cut, copy, paste. We made a new game. No, you didn't. It's the same game, just different brand, different company, different publisher, different developer, different skins. But the core, the core gameplay is the same. You're going to be jumping out of helicopters, I'm guessing, or you're going to be shooting zombies too, and you're going to be running around just like a normal Black Ops game and shoot people. You're going to you know, have 40% of your guns not unlocked when you pay $65 for the game anyway, um, and then you'll have to pay like a season pass for all these other uh, nonsense things that should have already been with the game. I've said this numerous times. Um, that's cons, man. That, that sucks because that's what these game companies do. And until people change, until people decide, man, this is stupid, it'll never change. My opinion on Black Ops 4 is it'll be a popular game for four to five months, and then the majority of people will leave it, and they will go find another game to play. They will get bored of it. It'll have its ups and downs. People are still rocking Fortnite like no other, so people will go to Fortnite. People may check it out. People will be like, that's stupid. They're not doing it right. Why pay 60 bucks when I can just play Fortnite for free? Or even if you didn't want to pay for it for free, there's there's like little, littler amounts of deals you can pay uh, on Fortnite and still get some cool stuff, I'm guessing, through some of them, uh, you know, transactions. So in my opinion, man, Black Ops 4, it's probably going to suck. I mean, did you guys spend two years playing Black Ops 3, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1? No, because they made one, it seemed like, every year. Call of Duty's out almost every year. Maybe not Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, but like Modern Warfare 3. And then it'll go to Advanced Warfare. And then it'll go to Modern Warfare Infinite War. Or what all this other, you know, Infinite Warfare or whatever. And it's like, they don't care. These games are going to be like a regular Madden. It's going to be like a regular Call of Duty to me. They're only taking out Campaign. And they're only taking out, um, and they're adding Battle battle Royal. whoop de doo You know, like, honestly, what... what why 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 try to make a great game, right? Why try to bring back Black Ops and make it a great game? I mean, who cares? I mean, who cares, right? Why am I why why make this video any better, right? I should just make the same video over and over again and then just change my shirt or change the way I talk or change the background color and be like, "Hey guys, this is a new video. I hope you guys sponsor me and support me or something." Cuz that's all Call of Duty's doing. 
That's all Activision's doing and EA and all these other companies that give you them games time in and time out. There's a new basketball game. Hey, I can guarantee, guys. Here's some guarantees. There'll be a new Madden come August. There'll be a new FIFA. There'll be a new basketball game. There'll be a new NBA Live. There'll be a new NBA 2K. There'll be a new WWE 2K. You want to know how I know? Because they're repetitive and they make the same damn game over and over and over again. Fun games to play, but Jesus, why don't you make the game and then, you know, I don't know, just update it. Why? Oh, because you like $65 or you like the gold edition or the super platinum triple X edition that gives you Tom Brady, the exclusive best ever goat who plays in a soft league. I'm getting off the story, but what I'm saying is that's stupid. That's like me going to Walmart and literally buying the same t-shirt, only it's changed colors. That that's all it is, man. It, it, it it's like going it's like going out to eat, and then you get ready to order and you have this whole menu, right? But then they say all you can order is a cheeseburger and fries, and you're like, but I want it. No, we have an update of that next year. We'll have it. We'll have a different, a little bit of difference. But you got to pay more for that. So next year I have to wait a whole year to go back to get bacon on my cheeseburger with tater tots instead of fries, but I have to pay extra for it. Like that's all these game creators are doing. It's funny to me how people ask me, hey, what do you think of the Black Ops 4? I think it's horrible. I think it's about as shitty as all the other ones before Black Ops. They should have stopped at Black Ops 2 and then uh, Modern Warfare 2. That's it. I mean, stop making games. Give up because you guys aren't coming up with any new ideas. There's a reason why people have stopped playing that game more than what they used to. And you guys can fight me tooth and nail on that. But there's less people playing Call of Duties. And battlefields than what they used to be. And you guys can say, well, there's more units sold and all that. Yeah, not everybody plays that game. There's people that play Madden. There's people that play FIFA. There's people that play all kinds of games out there. But it, it's the same game. They're just taking away something. So now the people that don't have PlayStation Plus or Xbox Gold, there are some people out there that don't have that. You know, what are they going to? They have no need to buy it. I wanted to play campaign, right? Well, they found out that the majority of people, you know, only spend so much time or whatever I was reading. They only spend so much time in the campaign, like 20-some minutes or 30-some minutes. I mean. That's because the game sucks. Like, duh. You would think, you would think they would learn, well, we're taking campaign out because nobody really cares about game. That's because you don't care about campaign. Get your shit together. Battlefield is the same way. They're gonna EA is gonna be the same thing, man. They're gonna make this game. I mean, well, come on, World War, World War what one? I think or World War two. I can't remember the game. I think it's gonna be two. Um, and they're gonna they're gonna do the same thing, man. You're gonna jump out. They might as well just call it, uh, you know, Medal of Honor Airborne. You just jump out of a plane, land wherever in the map, and then you just shoot everybody. Woo! It's the same game. I'm going to do a review on it, and I'll probably make fun of it, to be quite honest with everybody that's watching this video. I will probably bash that game. I mean, come on. Take auto-aim off and take regular core out. Why don't you do that? And then make a hit mark system and actually make it to where you actually have to aim. and You can't just act like you're good because you have auto-aim on. And then shoot them in the foot once in hardcore, and they're dead. But you have to shoot them 19 times in the head with an Uzi on regular core. How about one shot to the head kills you? Three shots uh, to the feet under the waist, and then two shots in the chest kills you. And just make that game like that. But no, no, then they wouldn't get a lot of people buying because most people need UAVs and they need their health to regenerate so they can talk crap and act like they're good at a game. Just make the game how it was intended to be. Make it skill based. Make it to where people aren't good at it. You know, make it fun, but don't make it repetitive. And that's where I see Black Ops 4 changing. They're going to be changing everything the same. They're, they're changing the way they used to make games because of PUBG and Fortnite, how popular they are, just to get money. They're also going to be changing everybody else's opinions and views that are making video games. EA will probably do it. Hell, they'll probably do stupid stuff with other games that you're not expecting. Hell, man, we might as well play you know, Mario Kart. Just jump out of a plane, guys. It'll be a giant battle royale. We'll have like 100 guys driving in a racetrack. But the racetrack's a huge island. Like, 
in, instead of copycatting games, cut, copy, paste is what I call it, why don't you just take time and make the game good and change some aspects in the game? Make the game, and I understand, a first-person shooter game with multiplayer maps and stuff, you can only do so much. But what's the difference of jumping out of a fucking plane and running around normally on Call of Duty? Oh, well, you get a helicopter to jump out of. You're still landing on the ground and running around. That's it. That's it. They take out campaign, you battle roll. Can you guys hire me? Like, come on. I mean, I grew up with video games, man, and, and companies back in the day. And maybe I'm not as uh, old as some of the people out there that's been even gaming longer than me, and I appreciate them too. But I think everybody understands when I say that back in the day, game companies weren't held to a standard of we have to make money. They were held to the standard as how are we going to make this game great to where people will buy it and it makes our name relevant, great, and up there in the Hall of Fame when it comes to game making. And it's like they changed the whole aspect. Now it's like, who cares if the game's good? People will buy it and give us money. And that's how games falter. That's why games aren't as good. That's why people get pissed off and don't buy your shit. Or they quit playing it after a so long Destiny. You know, that's the biggest reason. And look who's the company that's publishing them. Activision published, pays Bungie to make Destiny. They're working on Destiny 3, I guarantee it. It's like once Destiny 3 drops, they already have them two DLCs to drop, and they'll be working on Destiny 4. Isn't that stupid? Come on, Final Fantasy, they don't make Final Fantasy 7, and then next year Final Fantasy 8, and then next year Final Fantasy 9. It takes five to six to seven years sometimes to make a Final Fantasy. You want to know why? Because the game ain't done in four hours. It's, it's, these, this is what I'm saying. Why don't you just update? Just update the damn game. Update it. No. No, it's about money now. It ain't, it ain't even about the fun of the games. Here's the crazy thing, man. Here's the crazy thing. People that are paying this outrageous amount of money for these games, they don't care. They don't have a problem doing it. And I'm not knocking them for doing it. They, want, they have the money. They want to play whatever game they want. That's fine. But it's not helping the situation. By just supporting these companies that are just going to do it next year to you again. You know, you could buy a game and play that game for five years. And then, or two or three years. Let's say two years. Let's not go too crazy with it. But you could play a game for two years and have fun with it. And pay 40, 50, 60 bucks, whatever. Or you could pay, and I use two years, so we'll go three years now. Every Call of Duty. You could pay $120 to $180, give or take two to three years, every game. Total. I'm serious. $180 for the same game, different different era of time when it's shot and, and played in, at different skins. You still get 30% of your guns that you pay for, and then the other 70% you have to unlock or pay extra for it. Then you have to pay a season pass. I'm not even counting the season pass. It's ridiculous. Stop doing this and just make a great game and maybe you get more money given to you. Maybe more people would be willing to pay you more money. But this Black Ops 4, man, I watched it and I'm just like, it's stupid to me. I'm going to review it and I bet you 100 bucks. Just like I said in my last uh, few videos, games are overhyped for a reason, man. And this game is way overhyped. It's sad because they're using PUBG and, and Fortnite and they're going to do the same thing, and they're going to pressure all these other small companies that are just trying to make a great first-person shooter game go that direction as well. So I hope you guys do appreciate my comments on what I think Black Ops 4 is going to be. I think it's going to be a joke. I think it's going to be a four-month to five-month game, to, and then people get tired of it. It's so repetitive. People are going to get bummed out of jumping, dropping in and getting shot. It's going to be the same game without campaign. So there's a majority of people still that play the campaign. Now they're not going to get the campaign. They're going to get zombies and all this other stuff. But if you ask me the truth, the game's going to be 
uh, the same as every year. The same damn game. A little bit of different color in it, and that's it. Anyway, guys, game over 86, like always. I'm saying stay safe wherever you guys may be. I appreciate you guys out there. Um, you know, leave me a comment what you guys think the game's going to be like. I don't think it's going to be that good, especially when it gets released with all these other great games. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Twitter, guys. Um, that's where I keep most of you all up to date on videos in between when I post them. And uh, I appreciate every single one of you guys. Stay safe wherever you may be. All my new subscribers out there, thank you guys very much for the recent um, support. I appreciate it. And take care, guys, wherever you may be also. Be, be kind to one another, guys. Make sure you guys always leave great comments down below. No hate speeches, none of that stuff, guys. Always take care of each other. And make sure, make sure, make sure, guys, before you guys check this video and watch the ending, make sure you guys... Be nice to each other, and I know I just repeated that because my ADD just kicked in, but make sure you guys do something for somebody out there. Make sure if there's a small-time channel, man, make sure you guys stop there and support him, just like you guys have supported me. Make sure you guys check them out, other people that I've mentioned in the past. Make sure you guys support them too, man. They're great people, great content creators, and above all, stay safe. Game over 86. And I'm sorry for, Bri uh, for, for talking so much, guys, but you guys know how I am. Black Ops 4, there's no pros, only shit cons. Game over 86 out. Peace.